about humor. With humor, control is possible. If you can't afford your medicine, AbbVie may be able to help. Here's Morgan coming back from showing her Grammy her wedding dress. Debbie, don't let Tessa! Debbie, don't let Tessa! There's something really special about a show that lasts 30 years. It was little documentaries about American families. <laughs> nothing like it on television. It really took off like a rocket. I loved watching AFB with my family. As far as I can remember, it was always on Sunday night. We get to put a mirror up and say, these are the things that you guys are doing, and look how great and funny it is. <laughs> We're capturing moments that we know are real, and they can happen to any of us, and we hope they don't. For something to sustain yourself for 30 years like this, I don't think most marriages last that long. But crotchets, that's, that's forever. was that by the late 80s you were really starting to see this boom of relatively affordable home cameras. They captured picnics, they captured sporting events, birthdays, everything that we run on the show, they were capturing at great length. Who's coming to see you all tonight? The Easter Bunny! We thought, who the heck wants to watch somebody else's home movies? I mean, that's like the worst thing you could get roped into. <laughs> And then Vin discovered this Japanese show called Fun with Kato Chen and Ken Chen. They had a little segment within this variety show that had home videos. Variety in America had really hit the pits. So we thought, let's just do a contest. You know, with camcorder sales this year alone reaching the three million mark, we think Americans sending funny things that have happened to them while their baby's taking their first step during graduation on vacation is going to be the new show of the 90s. We put together about a seven-minute pitch reel of some of the funniest Japanese videos. I wrote some narration and then reported the narration. This kid's not the teacher's pet. He's a teacher's nightmare. Here's a shot you've never seen before, not even on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Pitch didn't even end. ABC said, we're going to buy this show. I was astounded. The show went on the air in the fall of 1989, which was the first fall season I was president of ABC Entertainment. This is really the first show that I greatly did that job. We had a big concern is that we didn't have any tape. We wanted American videos, and we didn't have any. It was like... You know, World War Three. I mean, we mobilized every conceivable person and place, and it worked. So you've been playing Steven Spielberg, have you, with your home video camera? And feel it's time the world saw the results. Well, so does Vin Bona. What is it about the show that you think is going to translate here? Well, I think the wonderful thing about the program is America will get a chance to produce a show for themselves. The pilot aired on Thanksgiving weekend of 1989. There were blizzards on the East Coast. There was torrential rain all throughout the country. And for some reason, everybody was watching TV. Hello, everybody. I'm Bob Saget, and welcome to America's Funniest Home Videos, which is a pretty good title considering what you'll be seeing tonight is America's Funniest Home Videos. That was the original first one hour, which was really, was a resin of clips, you know, it, it had some of the funniest ones. Here he is, going for the gold. This young guy's dad told him, don't use the camera. Of course, he didn't listen. Ground until he's 
through presenting America back to itself, but the best, sweetest, and funniest, silliest moments. People were being intentionally funny. They were being accidentally funny. Okay, looks like Jimmy's gonna be out for the remainder of the season. It was an unbelievable buffet of humor that America said, this is us now. Is that for? Just wait, just wait! friends with Tom Hanks at the time and they get a call at my home and he goes what the hell is this this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life how are you going to get down no. what and he goes I gotta go I gotta watch more <laughs> you'll see tonight is going to win five thousand dollars as america's funniest home video that's a lot of blank tape and once you buy a camcorder you have to realize your life is never going to be the same Ella, can you please give us an update on what the problem is my hair is hot i'm hot in the back of the dishwasher i was cleaning out the dishwasher i didn't realize that the top rack could be taken out my hair caught on the wheels so then I was stuck, so I started yelling for him to come help me. It wasn't going to happen. Are you going to get me out of here? Yeah, set the camera so we can get this all on. Now the kids are here, they won't believe it. Then she got mad and she's hollering at me. Oh, I'm back here! I'm grabbing her by her feet and the dogs are running over her back. Now watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! He filmed me for 20 minutes. Itchy, itchy, itchy. My newest daughter, Missy, a lot of her friends, they had wanted her to take it to parties at their house. And then everybody started calling up on him. You know, you ought to send this in. Send it in before he got over Mark. <laughs> they called fairly quick. Then I was scared. Then I figured I'm going to have to tell him I said, I sent it in. And now they want us to go to California. I didn't want anything to do with it. Why the hell did you send it in there? And our grand prize of $5,000 and the coveted title of America's Funniest Home Video is the dishwasher lady, Mrs. Helen Wolf and her husband, Bill. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't recognize you from this angle. I can't go to a funeral parlor and they have me turn around because they didn't recognize me. Don't forget, the second contest is just beginning, so send your tapes to us right away. When Vin and I were putting the first show together, we went through a mountain of tapes, and the question was, is this going to work every week? Is this even possible? And I said to Vin, Vin, if there's one insensitive husband out there with a video camera, <laughs> there's thousands of them. We just need to find them. The day after the pilot aired, I got a call from Bob Iger's office and Ted Harbert's office. Come in and see us. We confirmed with Ben the fact that we now were absolutely going to turn it into a series. And they asked me if I could do 11 more episodes for that season. And I looked them square in the eye and said, absolutely. I walked out and said to my agent, there's no way I'm going to be able to deliver 11 shows. Where are we going to get the tapes? Having difficulty streaming a 